It is early, we are here at the train station. It is absolute madness. Good morning, P Nation. So today is another lovely day in Ukraine. We are up early again because we're taking a train all the way from Lviv to Odessa on the Black Sea. It's especially nice because like it's not hot anymore. We had a heat wave in Europe and that made it very warm and so we avoided train travel at all costs because buses had air conditioning and most trains that we've been on have not had air conditioning. So today's gonna be a nicer day than we expected because right now it's like 55 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's back to normal. Hopefully this train travel isn't gonna be too hot but we'll see. It's a, almost a 12 hour journey. It's gonna be a ridiculously long day but <laughs> we gotta get going. my bed and this bed is Leah's bed and we have two friends down here it's pretty small I don't know I hope it won't be too hot in here because it feels hot right now <laughs> it's a four sleeper I didn't think we got that because I didn't order it but we have it so we have extra stuff and it's hot and we're sharing it with two other people and it's gonna be quite an experience oh we are setting up this fan this fan is about to be set up. Ooh. Look, there's a plug right there. We're gonna set this fan up. Okay, so there's a recurring theme here. All right, so Leah loves to get here early and then run across any train <laughs> station or airport or literally any place we go. She's like, I wanna get all sweaty before we sit there no, in our sweat. We didn't. And that's just, a, that's just a recurring theme. She's really good at like making me freak out because we're gonna be late and then telling me later that we're actually 30 minutes early. That is a lie. It's not a lie. <laughs> In my defense, we were supposed to get here early so that we could get our bunks before our bunk mates were here. So we could get all of our stuff in here before they got here, establish that it's an open window policy, and maybe set up this fan. But if we didn't run, then we wouldn't be hot, and then we, weren't we running. wouldn't need an open window. Oh yeah. You right. guys tell us what you think. Yes. It's better to get hot before or just walk because we're already on time. I think I'm right. So this is us for the next 12. Yeah, that's gonna be 12 hours. Okay, but I looked up how long it was gonna take to drive there and it said it was gonna take 11 and a half hours. So technically the train is the same amount of time to drive there. You don't have to deal with the bumpy bus. Well, True. this might be really bumpy, but I'm assuming it won't be. And we need to lay down. Yeah. Yeah. So I think overall this is the better choice. Yeah, also thank God that it's not. 90 degrees. Yeah. 110. 110. Do you feel like you're in the movie The Orient Express with murder mystery, like someone's gonna kill somebody when it goes black? And... Now I do. Yeah. So far Ukraine has been amazing. I just love all the people here. They are so friendly. Everything is so cheap. Like, I'm definitely gonna come back here. Me too. I'm glad we're spending as much time as we are here. Because mm -hmm. like, Slovakia was like, 
two days. Well, yeah. we saw we saw the mountains. We can't really speak <laughs> for the Austrian side. But yes, Ukraine so far. We've only been here for two days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to be here for nine more. Nine more. Yeah. <laughs> Extra large croissants, chocolate rolls. We got two things of what English people call biscuits. They're just crackers. And then, for the first time ever, we found Cheez Its on our whole trip, which back in America I love. So, we got three packages. We got some chocolate Ritz crackers. We froze our chocolate bars in preparation for a really hot train. So, these won't probably thaw out for like three hours. So, it's probably good. We should eat them for breakfast. Two chocolate bars. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> What this experience is going to be like. I figured we wouldn't need bed sheets because we probably wouldn't be sleeping. I had no idea if we were able to get off the train or not in between stops. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll go for two drinks each for both of us. And I also didn't know what that meant either. Is it water? Is it coffee? Is it tea? What do you do? So I finally, like, no one's come up to, to like, with a trolley or anything. So I finally summoned the courage to go ask someone, like, do we have drinks? You know, like, I don't know. It says, I don't read Ukrainian, but it's here on my ticket. And so he was like, oh, do you want tea? And I was like, sure. So we have tea. It's hot. We're a little bit sweaty, but um, it's good. Ooh. And 12 hours later, no. Well. And 11 hours later, <laughs> we are almost there. The sun is going down. It feels weird that we spent an entire day on train and yeah. laying down. Yep. This was like the longest Netflix day we've had ever since our trip started. I think ever. I don't think I've ever really? watched yeah, more things than I did today. I love days like We that. really need to start reading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't need to watch movies this much. Anyways, the bathroom really nice. The bathroom on board is awesome. Our yeah. cabin mates, the little girls, were just so quiet and so nice. I'm ask for more yeah. better this train cabin day mates. has been amazing. Really if you would have told me that training 11 hours across the high plains would be this much fun, I would say you're crazy, but here we are. Here we are, and we do it again. <laughs> and we probably will. So we're about five minutes away from the train stop, and hopefully it's not too chaotic. I yeah. think we're gonna be gonna be able to walk to our Airbnb. Really? Yeah. Or we can get an Uber too. They have Uber in Ukraine, which is a big plus. Well, super cheap Uber, I think. Yeah. That's the, the deal. So yeah. we'll see what happens. I don't think there is a better way to get to a city than right when the sun is setting. It's also the coolest it's been in two weeks. Yes, like, it feels amazing out. This is a great introduction. Everyone's out having fun on this amazing night. So this place 
place is interesting. I feel like we're staying like in an old brothel. Although like, we're not, I don't think we are. But it's like, the theme is very like pinks and reds and like decoration everywhere. And it's kind of like medieval or gothic. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of interesting. We have our own living room, which is cool. A bathroom, washing machine, a whole kitchen, which is great because we're here four whole days. And a bedroom and it's gonna be great. It's just. The way to get here was really, really crazy. <laughs> I feel like it was like going into like a secret society where there's like a code on the door and then you like, it's like look around all sketchy, then you open it up and then you like go up these really sketchy stairs and we're kind of in a sketchy apartment, but it's nice. And our host is really nice. Just the whole experience was like, okay. <laughs> Whew, okay, we are settling in nicely. We are done for the day. We're about to go to the grocery store and basically get some items for tomorrow, but you guys probably don't want to see that. So this is it. This is just amazing. This place gets a 10 out of 10 for decor on my side. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you feel. This is gonna be a lot of fun. One, two, three, four. So this place is... So... <laughs> 